Hello, I'm Poch Concepcion. Welcome to What's Up. We're live on Facebook and YouTube. Today on the show, the young and talented Filipino singer, GMA artist, Thea Asley. Hi, Thea. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Sir Poch. Welcome to and the show. And hello to all our viewers for today. Mm -hmm. Thea, tell us about uh, your, your family. Your, you, you have a... Uh, a foreign sounding surname <laughs> you're not related uh, to well, rick <laughs> uh, i get that all okay. the time all right. <laughs> i wish but no i i don't think i am uh but yeah my dad's from scotland all right and yeah my mom's filipina papa <laughs> sila nag meet saan sila nag meet uh, well they met in qatar po ah okay okay qatar mm -hmm. you mentioned qatar you yes. were born in the philippines but you moved to qatar Mm -hmm. Qatar, where your parents I, are working, yes, po. Okay, at age 13. Uh, ilang years ka doon sa Qatar? Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, until I was 18, I stayed there. So, okay. I graduated high school doon po. And then, when I turned 18, bumalik po ako ng Pilipinas to pursue studies. And mm -hmm. then, biglang nag-change, nag-shift because of uh, the clash and yeah, opportunities came. So, oh, uh, can you recall what happened? Because uh, first, yung decision na bumalik sa Pilipinas para mag-aral sa Ateneo, mag-enroll ng political science, was it your your decision? Your personal decision? It was my personal decision. I had to have a, a big conversation with my <laughs> with my parents about it. If it was up to them, hindi po ako uuwi ng Pinas. Uh, but I did. And, okay. and then... Um, I, I, don't, I don't really know why I did. Parang, I, I just wanted to venture off on my own. Okay. And so I'm, I'm very grateful that they allowed me to, to do that. Uh, so I went to the Philippines. I enrolled in Ateneo Political Science. Uh, and then I, I've always loved music. Like, kumakanta po talaga ako sa school. Hindi po ako masyado nagko contest, pero mm -hmm. uh, nagko cover cover here and there. But I've always been an academic, so I never really thought that it would be something I would pursue career-wise. Mm -hmm. And then, meron lang po kaming family friend who approached me na, uh, ano siya, parang talent manager din. Tapos, parang minessage niya lang ako one time in, in 2019, mid-2019 na, hey, merong auditions ng The Clash, baka gusto mo. So, I, I tried it out kasi medyo lax ako sa school at that time. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I never really thought that I would get in. All right. uh, but I did, and then I surpassed through the rounds. And then fortunately, Artist Center, GMA Network took me in, and now I am here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So totally na ano, na sidetrack ka? Mm, yes po, yes po. Okay. But, gusto mo, uh, well, apparently gusto mo yung nangyari. <laughs> <laughs> yes po, okay. yes po. I, okay. I, uh, I'm I'm very grateful. I, I never mm. really thought that it would happen, that it would kind of snowball into this this thing that I'm doing now. Okay. But I always just try to do my very best in every so parang nung auditions I I try to do my best. So I got in and then each round of the clash I just try to do my very best. Parang hindi ko masyado pang tinitingnan ko ano yung uh what lies ahead mm. in the future. I just tried to do my very best in each stage of the journey until ayun dumating na yung uh, chance to uh, become a part of GMA and fortunately my parents naman po are very supportive and ayun so now I am here <laughs> this singing talent of yours would you call it it came naturally saan to nagmula sa parents mo ano ang memory mo sa sa unang pagkanta mo tell us about it I really came from a music loving family uh, my my daddy lolo was also did some radio DJing so oh. I, I really grew up with uh, a lot of different types of music playing in the house with a mm. lot of karaoke mm. like how Fili Filipino families are uh, I joined my first singing contest when I was three. Ang pinaaral sa akin ng, 
ng mom ko is pagdating ng panahon by Miss Isa Segera, by mm-hmm. Isa Segera now. All right. Uh, and ayun, I was in nursery at that time. So sumali ako ng singing contest sa school namin. Tapos ang isa pang judge nun is si Mr. Ray Valera. Okay. Tapos po, after, ako yung nanalo. All right. <laughs> God. Tapos in-approach niya yung mom ko na, uh, parang may something. Mm-hmm. There's, there's I guess, talent there or, or a spark. So, enroll her in singing lessons. And then my mom, uh, he did that advice. So, All I right. started taking singing lessons when I was six. Okay. And then I never stopped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ayun po. So that's how it all kind of started for na, me. Nakita na kayo ni Ray Valera lately? Hindi pa po eh. <laughs> Kailangan ko nga po siyang mamit para mapasalamatan ko siya. Oo. Tsaka baka maisulat ka na ng kanta. Ay, sana po. <laughs> oo, oo, okay. So now, okay, you're a regular on All Out Sundays, right? Yes Regular po, performer po. every Sunday. And then, what else are you doing? Um, we heard you're launching something this afternoon. Yes, this afternoon, uh, I'm very pleased to announce that we are launching the first episode of uh, GMA Network's newest podcast hosted by yours truly. It's called Behind the Song, mm-hmm. uh, where basically we're, we're, we're featuring what is behind every song na, na hina highlight namin in each episode. So we have the artist uh, who's interpreting the song, and right. then as much as possible, we also try to invite the other people who are part of the process such as the producer, the composer, um, yeah, instrumentalists, para we also want to put them in the spotlight. So we just want to keep on uplifting OPM, mm-hmm. keep on uplifting different types of music because we feature both local and international artists. Okay. Uh, so we have a lot of episodes already lined up. Mm-hmm. But for today's episode, launching at 5 p.m. on Spotify, this mm-hmm. afternoon at 5 p.m., uh, we have Pablo from SB19 and the producer of their recently released EP Pagsibol, uh, si Mr. Simon Servida. So it's going mm. to be really exciting and okay. behind the song. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, ang i-discuss mo, ikaw ang, ano, ikaw ang host, of course. Yes ikaw. po. Ang i-discuss niyo yung creation of the song, the process. Yes po. Oh, okay. Yes po. Everything from, from when the idea came about, to nice. when, to the process of recording it to talking to the composer producer especially uh yung mga cause, cause the songs we're featuring now are mo- most of them were released during this this pandemic. pandemic so we we as much as possible like we try to ask them ano yung mga challenges during this time how did they overcome those challenges because i'm sure uh the process of making a song now is very different from before the pandemic kasi mas marami pong mga uh, regulations and things that they have to consider. Uh, so we try to tackle all of those. And also some fun, interesting questions here and there. Is it your idea, this uh, podcast? Well, no, it wasn't my idea. Uh, they already uh, had it, it oh. fully formed when, oh. they, when they approached me. So mm-hmm. I am very thankful na ako po yung napili nila to to host it. Ito ba ang unang podcast ng GMA o meron pang iba? I am not entirely sure about that. Okay, pero parang bago eh, no? <laughs> Opo. Na, Opo. Na, na, exciting. I'm very It's, excited. Yes. Ako Oo. po personally, I've always wanted to create my own podcast because I live stream a lot. I like talking mm-hmm. to people. Okay. Uh, but for some reason, parang... I always have a thing where I have a great idea and then I kind of get, parang I stop pushing myself or parang I always find an excuse na uh, I need this equipment first before I can do it. I need this, that. Parang kailangan ko pa mag-improve sa ganito. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I'm just very thankful na they just suddenly gave it to me and I, I, I said this before in a post na you never truly realize that you're ready to do something until you just do it. So until this opportunity came and then we just started filming it, dun ko lang na na realize na I can just I can just do it now and pala eh. Mm-hmm. Et, I, I'm I'm ready to do it. But ayun, I am still uh, trying to better myself, still mm-hmm. trying to improve my skills. 
para hopefully the podcast keeps on getting better and takes a life of its own. Parang ano, no? Ang podcast, uh, parang mas convenient. Kasi, uh, it's audio, right? Yes, it's like a radio. We're... It's like a radio show, mm-hmm. di ba? So you can mm-hmm. do other things while... But we're while, also uh, releasing... Yes, po, but we're also releasing a... Uh, Uh, a video interview because we, ah. we, we film ourselves while we're doing it so okay. for, for people who also like some visuals mm-hmm. when uh, when listening watching they can also uh, watch that it's going to be released I believe on Thursday naman of the same week ah okay okay so it's on twice a week yes po same episode but just the the, the may, may audio extra. podcast is on Tuesday and then the video interview is on Thursday okay Thea, tell us about your your more about your singing. Uh, meron ka ba mga tinitingala na influence foreign or local and and your meron ka ba rituals sa sa pagkanta mo? Um Siyempre, madami po talaga akong uh, idols. Siyempre, sa, dito sa Pinas, like you have uh, are the Clash hosts, you have Miss Julie, you have yung mga kasama ko sa All Out Sunday, sila Ate Aisel, Miss Rita Daniela. Uh, and then, pero ako talaga, I, I, I've said this before as well, my super idol forever is Lady Gaga. All right. And also, if I will consider... Artists who have passed. I am also the biggest fan of Amy Winehouse mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. because I also try to write songs. I haven't released yet because they're still in the works. But I, it's it's one of the things that I like to do, especially during the pandemic. I write a lot, uh, so I I aspire to write with the same kind of truth mm-hmm. as as Lady Gaga and Amy Winehouse. In terms of rituals, I I don't. I don't think I have any except for vocalization, which is the standard. I always try to vocalize, uh, bef- like in the morning, palang when I know that I'm going to be, when I know that I'm going to be singing at some point during the day, just so that I can get my throat warmed up and yeah, parang yun lang naman po and prayers of course. All right, what's up? We'll be back with Thea Ashley after a short break. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Oh, vaccination, isolation, gotta keep up with my nutrition, gotta maintain my body condition, then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation. With vaccination. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. It's time for the world to know. Outstanding Filipinos in America. The 11th Outstanding Filipinos in America Awards 2021. A salute to the heroes of coronavirus. Coming back live in person. Carnegie Hall in New York City, home to the TOFA Awards since 
Welcome back to What's Up with Poch Concepcion of Daily Tribune live on Facebook and YouTube. Today, we're talking to uh, the young and talented singer, GMA artist, uh, Thea Astley. And she's hosting her own podca podcast, uh, launching this afternoon at 5 p.m. Thea. Hello, yes po. Welcome. Hi to everyone who's uh, watching again. Nakita ko, I checked out the the live stream for a bit. Thank you so much to my The A-Team fam for, for being here and for watching. I, I can see all of your comments and uh, thank you so much for all of the love and support. Okay, balikan ko lang yung ano, balikan natin sandali. You mentioned two artists na, na um, you admire. Uh, Lady Gaga and, and Amy Winehouse. Kakaiba silang artist, no? Yes. They have their own distinct <laughs> personality and, and uh, um, ano ang nagusto mo sa kanila? Start with Lady Gaga. I, I like that she just, she doesn't care about <laughs> uh, what other people say. I mean, I, I was I was very young when I started listening to Lady Gaga, but mm -hmm. but I saw the types of things that people would say about her. But she mm -hmm. she just kept on going and parang nag shine through yung love niya for for music, love niya for her craft. And mm -hmm. I also hope to do that in okay. the things that that I do mm -hmm. uh, with Amy Winehouse. I well, she was she already passed when yes. I started. Uh, listening to her and when I discovered her but when I did I just started watching all the documentaries about her I watched all her her live shows that are on YouTube her live performances and I was just so uh, I don't know enamored by just everything about her she never sings the same she never sings a song the same way in mm -hmm. all of her performances she always keeps it fresh and just the the lyrics her the way in which she writes sobrang truthful no ounce of pretentiousness it's just all about her life parang her songs are her are her musical diaries mm -hmm. parang ganon. and i and i also hope to to do the same i also hope to share my life through my songs while also letting listeners uh, interpret it in their own way. Okay. Does that mean uh, you also uh, are interested in, in many forms of music? Because you see Amy Winehouse, di ba? Malawak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am. Like, I mean, in terms of genre, I really don't limit myself po in... In, for example, in, in All Out Sundays, we do a lot of uh, big ballads. Mm -hmm. We also do some some dance, pop hits. Yes. And then when I stream, I do a lot of R&B or soul, uh, sometimes even Broadway or rap. I really try to... I love music. I love all forms of music. And so I, I don't want to limit myself by saying that, oh, I'm an R&B artist or I'm a pop singer. Uh, as much as possible, I want to keep on exploring and and seeing what else i can do because music is so colorful and it's so diverse mm -hmm. and i don't think we should we should box ourselves with just a certain type when there's so much to explore and to enjoy all right in other words i am a typecast say some genre i am a describe the pop yes. okay all right yeah uh, well, but but i understand the need for for parang to have an identity. Mm -hmm. I, I also I also get that. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'm still finding my way para I I ma, ma make sure ko na the identity that I get identified with is something that I really love and enjoy. Okay. What to you is a great song? Ooh. Uh, Lyrics and sound both. Tell us about it. Everything because I have a lot of I have a lot of uh, friends who are in the indie music scene oh. and I see them how they work in in every aspect of each song that they do from from the instruments to the lyrics to the mixing mastering of the song lahat very meticulous talaga sila uh, so I think there's no one particular element that makes a song great. I think mm -hmm. it's all of those things combined. That's why in Behind the Song, again, mm -hmm. we try to invite as much 
people who are part of the process. Because, parang uh, I feel like here in the Philippines, mm. uh, with a particular song, for example, that gets into the mainstream, ang maririnig mo lang na household name is kung sino yung nag-interpret ng song na yon. Mm-hmm. Pero ang dami kasing tao na involved in making a song yung sumulat. Kung hindi man yung artist yung nagsulat, di ba? Meron, meron kang composer, meron kang nag-produce, meron nag-final mix and master, merong sumama sa'yo sa recording, may nag-vocal coach sa'yo during the recording. And all of those people are are instrumental in creating that song. So I think mm-hmm. what makes a great song is mm-hmm. when all of those elements blend together really well and when everyone is is uh, throwing in their ideas, I think that's when a song really takes flight. Okay, habang nagkukwento ko, naalala ko si Ray Valera kasi, di ba, bago siya nakilala as Ray Valera, siya yung Apo. behind the songs of the hits. Mm-hmm. Of, of, of so Sharon. many people, yeah. Yeah, starting with Sharon Cuneta. Okay, sa iyo naman, ano example ng magandang kanta? Sample. Hmm. Titles. Sample. Na pag narinig mo, buo na araw mo, ganun. Hindi ka nagsasawa. Hindi ako nagsasawa with, I guess, uh, with an album, I would have to say Art Pop by Lady Gaga. It's one of her lesser known albums, I think. It was, I believe, released in 2013 or 2014. Okay. Uh, but all of the songs from that album, if, sa lahat ng nanonood, if you guys haven't listened to that album, listen to it. Uh, especially the song Gypsy. And then, isa pa, ano pa ba? Ang dami. I love music so much. Mm-hmm. But, ayun, if I had to choose uh, Lady Gaga's Art Pop album, Papakinggan ko mamaya. Nasa Spotify ba yan? Yes po. The song Gypsy, you have to listen to it. <laughs> okay. It's amazing. All right. Have you tried writing songs yourself? I do have a couple songs already that are uh, done and I'm already making demos for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so hopefully, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and also a procrastinator so <laughs> it's not a it's not a good combination uh, but I, I thank god that i have friends who push me and i have a family na nagpo-push talaga sa akin na work on your song para ma-release mo na uh, pero ayun po i do have a couple songs already lined up just uh, ironing out the kinks here and there <laughs> so para mm-hmm. hopefully i can get it out mm-hmm. at least one within this year, I am really hoping for that. Oo, sana. Sana para marinig natin, ano? Oo. Yes, po. <laughs> Oo. Taya, do you live alone or are your parents still in, in Qatar? Yes, my okay. whole family is back in Qatar. Uh, All right. I, I have someone living with me here at home. It's just the two of us. Uh, but yeah, my whole family is back there. But I, I, I'm i staying here to, to keep on pursuing this. It, it's difficult living mm-hmm. without family, especially po sa with with what's happening now it's yes. kind of scary to not be with family but uh these are just i guess sacrifices that i have to make so that i can uh live out my dreams all right you're living out your dreams and and mm-hmm. but what about your studies although it's understandable that you're just starting your 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 music career is just uh starting mm-hmm. yes po mm-hmm. but uh i I've never, I know, I, I've always been an academic. Yes, I you... always, I, I love, I love studying. I, I really love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I am still doing online school. I'm in college. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so, yes, I, mm. I did my foundation year, uh, which is parang a transitionary course because my my uh, school's in the UK. So since the the curriculum was different, I had to do a kind of transition course. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'm starting my first official year uh, soon. Still political science or iba na? Uh, iba na po. Iba na? <laughs> okay, alright. Yung political science, parang gusto mo mag later on? Yung ba yung naisip mo? That, 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 was, my, uh, that was my main... I, I'm not... I think I, I won't ever uh, parang dismiss the dream. Mm-hmm. I think it's always going to to be there and and maybe someday in the future I'll have the time to actually uh, pursue that hopefully mm-hmm. Thea what's a normal day like 
for Thea at home? A normal Describe it. day is uh, I wake up and I have a cup of coffee because I can't function <laughs> uh, without a cup of coffee. Uh, okay. <laughs> I probably, I guess, I take a shower either at the morning or night. But if I take a shower in the morning, I'll probably stream for about two hours mm -hmm. and then uh, have lunch. And depends if I have school or not. But if I don't, I'll probably play <laughs> play on my Good laptop good. some games or read a book. If you can see, I have lots of books here. All right. I'll mm -hmm. probably read a book. And then um, if I'm feeling if I'm feeling motivated, I'll work out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's very rare. <laughs> okay. And then I guess that's it. And then I wait. I, I call my parents call almost every day, so mm -hmm. we have that. Mm -hmm. And then if I have more time, I'll stream again, mm -hmm. just so that I could keep. That's that's the time that I get to sing and talk to, talk to uh, fans, talk to friends, mm -hmm. talk to people. So I try to do it as often as I can. So that really takes up the bulk of my day. But I am. I guess that's it. <laughs> Are you an only child? Nag-iisa ka bang anak? Solo anak ka? Oh, no. I have a, I have a sister uh, who's okay. also back in Qatar. Back in Qatar. All right, oh, still Qatar. in high school. Okay. All right. You mentioned books. What type of books do you like reading? Oh, God. I like reading everything. <laughs> okay. I do a lot of uh, uh, fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's siguro, that, that's mostly what I read is uh, mm -hmm. fiction novels. I, before, siyempre, puro young adult. Okay. Uh, now, I've kind of moved on to more uh, adult fiction. I do a lot of thriller as well. I love uh, Big Little Lies. If you guys know that that book, it's been turned into a TV series, mm -hmm. I think, on HBO. Uh, ano pa ba? I also read a lot of uh, mga... Non-fiction, my favorite is Sapiens. It's kind of a, a brief history of humankind from... Wow. Mm -hmm. As in, from, from the beginning until to where we are now. It's a great book if you guys want to read that, if you guys are into that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, ayun po. Both fiction and non-fiction, I like. Kakatuwa naman. <laughs> Kasi, I'm a nerd. Hindi ba? Hindi. Yung mga hindi... Parang konti lang nagbabasa. I may be wrong, but di ba? Reading, yes. reading is really the thing that that keeps you yeah. like uh, a person. Di ba? Yeah, and uh, I feel like parang when I, when I talk to people, I I know in, parang instinctively when a person likes to read mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Parang there's there's something with how a person is able to carry a conversation kapag nagbabasa siya. Mm -hmm. I feel like reading books really opens up your... Parang even if you haven't been through a certain experience, yes. it's kind of like a song, right. right? Pero mm -hmm. parang mas na... Parang mas na branch out pa siya in a book. You're able to live out the experiences of other people mm -hmm. because you're reading, uh, reading on what they're going through in their life. So... Ayun. That's what I love about books. Big sabihin, mahirap kang maloko ng fake news. <laughs> Ay! <laughs> yes. All right, okay. Absolutely. All right. But you play games. Like, what type of games do you play? Oh, I'm, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm playing, uh, it's like a, an upgraded form of Farmville. Okay. Diba? Akala ninyo cool? Akala niyo League of Legends or Valorant? Mm -hmm. Ganon. Hindi mm -hmm. po ganon. <laughs> okay. Parang Harvest Moon. Ganon. Okay. Stardew, Stardew Valley. <laughs> what does that do to you? Farmville. It calms me. I have a very... Uh, uh, my brain goes hyperactive mm -hmm. sometimes. But I, I think of a lot of things and I kind of... I overthink a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Play as cheesy as it sounds. Playing these types of games, it it kind of calms me, puts me back into, uh, parang put puts things back into perspective and makes me feel grounded. Now, okay, I'm here. Everything mm -hmm. is chill. I'm mm -hmm. calm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I recommend it to people who are kind of, parang who are feeling, I guess, anxious or, okay, I know, uh, it, it's fun. 
Because sometimes other games make you feel more anxious. Th this one is just very parang chill. I just wake up and I'm a farmer and I water my plants. <laughs> All right. When you were in Qatar, Qatar, uh, did you make friends with with uh, other nationalities or may Filipino community ba kayo doon? Malaki po ang Filipino community in Qatar. Malaki mm. talaga. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, nag-aaral po ako sa isang Philippine school kasi dalawa po mm. yung Philippine school in Qatar. Like, the community is that big. Enough right. to have, as in, a uh, school from nursery to high school. Dalawa. Okay. Uh, so, I had a lot of Filipino friends. Uh, pero sa compound po namin, merong mga uh, ibang nationality and also with my parents friends minsan iba din yung nationalities but uh, really it's more my sister i guess siya yung mas social sa aming dalawa so sa compound namin siya yung binibisita ng mga neighbors ganun tapos mm -hmm. ako parang parang kilala lang ako as Rita's sister my sister's name is Rita All right. so parang ganun lang kasi medyo shy ako uh, but yeah definitely malaki po talaga yung Filipino community so shout out sa kung may mga nanonood man na uh, uh Filipinos from Qatar, thank you so much for for being here. Kasi very supportive din po kasi sila doon. Nung after po ng The Clash, umuwi po ako, nag-homecoming ako doon sa, mm. sa high school ko doon, Philippine mm. School Doha. Uh, Re-received din po ako sa, sa, ano, with our labor attache at that time, si Sir Des Dikang. I visited the, the, yung parang OFW shelter namin doon. So, ayun, malaki po talaga yung Filipino community and they're very, very, very supportive and loving. In other words, nag-enjoy ka sa, na, ano, yung five years na nandun ka, no? Hindi ka nahirapan yes mag-adjust. Oh, oh, oh. Yes po. Oh, Doon oh. po talaga ako nag, uh, I guess, nag-fly kasi nung, nung high school... Uh, doon ako nakapag-perform talaga, Nag oh. I acted on stage, I did a lot of hosting sa mga school events. So I think doon ako, doon ko medyo na-feel yung, yung passion ko for, for performing and being in front of people. Alright. What do you see or where do you see yourself in the next few years? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess I just well, syempre I hope to be um, I hope to be known for my own songs. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's first. Uh, syempre I love the opportunity of of being able to sing uh, songs of other people and being able to perform on stage, but. Ultimately, I hope na makilala din ako sa mga kanta na sinulat ko. Mm -hmm. And then, hopefully, I've also finished school uh, in a few years. Para I, I feel like that's a way that I can give back to my parents then. Uh, and I guess I just want to be happy. In, parang ganon. I think whatever it is that I really end up doing or wherever I, I may be in a few years, I just hope that I... I'm happy mm -hmm. there. I think that's all we could ever really hope for at the end of the day. And as we speak, you look very happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. I am very happy and very excited for for behind the song this afternoon. <laughs> Thea, invite the audience to behind the song. Yes, hello po sa lahat po ng uh, viewers natin today here on Daily Tribune. Again, thank you so much, uh, Daily Tribune, Sir Poch, for having me. And ayun na nga po, uh, GMA Network's newest podcast called Behind the Song, hosted by yours truly, uh, will be launching this afternoon at 5 p.m. I will be having Pablo of SB19 and also the producer of their EP Pagsibol, si Mr. Simon Servida. That will be launched again at 5 p.m. this afternoon. And the next coming episodes will be launched every Tuesday. You can stream it on Spotify for free. So I hope that you guys can watch and also join our Twitter party that is starting at 4, I believe 4 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, sana maka... Makasama po kayo, and again, hope that you guys can stream uh, our first episode. All right. Catch Thea Asli on our podcast, launching this afternoon at 5 p.m. on Spotify. Salamat, Thea Asli.
Salamat oh. din po. Thank you so much. All right. This has been Poch Concepcion of uh, What's Up. The Daily Tribune condoles with the family of our editor, Jerry Lirio, on the passing of her mother, Dolores Celones. Thank you. See you next time.